Okay, Jim, Limwood Cemetery, yard display in Oak Lawn. What'd you think? Yeah, this was, uh, I mean, this was very, very solid. I think a number of, you know, excellent uh, props and set pieces. Um, you know, a somewhat uh, smaller, more compact uh, plot of land, but I mean, every single space was effectively utilized. Uh, I got some, you know, effective, um, you know, pictures and, and uh, mementos from that. I think, you know, a couple of the highlights, I mean, I, I think a number of the, you know, graves and marker sites were well done. I think the illusion, um, which was really achieved with just, as we were informed, uh, kind of a shower curtain that had uh, shadows <clears throat> lunging at you that really had looked like they had individuals in the living room uh, coming at you. And uh, having the, you know, character from The Exorcist sort of uh, on the awning, I mean, when you got up close and saw that in person was astonishingly detailed. I mean, it was really, I'd never seen any figure quite like that. And I think, like I say, overall, uh, you know, as far as yard displays goes, it was it was excellent. I mean, it really was. Every every crevice basically was used. And uh, for me, I mean, just in summary, I would say a solid, you know, four chainsaw rating. Okay, Limwood Cemetery for me, really good. have to say two years ago we saw it for the first time and we enjoyed it. It was just sort of an average yard haunt, but it was good. The opera had a lot of heart, very enthusiastic. It was his first year. Last year we weren't able to make it to see it for weather factors and various other reasons. So we went and made a point this year and we went and I'm happy to say it's much improved, even more. The, the, the uh, owner really is into what he's doing and you can tell that he wants to do more and more and he has definitely stepped it up. It is a cemetery, as the name implies. Some nice things. Jim mentioned a lot of effective use of space. There's some great lighting effects and smoke and fog and some music playing in the background, which sets the atmosphere, especially if nobody's out there. It's sort of on a quiet street. So if you see the cemetery facade and you hear this music, it's a little creepy, which is... And then if you notice, as Jim talked about, there are moving hands on the, the front window of the house that look as though they're coming out of the window. That's clever because you don't notice it right away. And then sort of out of the corner of your eye, if you catch it, it's good. It's a nice, effective trick. A couple of neat things. The cemetery gates at the front of the house. We see a lot of yard displays with these types of things. But these really look like metal. And they have sort of wood and twigs on the top. And this, the sign hangs below Limwood Cemetery. And then there are two lanterns with what look like glowing candles inside. They're really lights, but they, they're very effectively done. And there's a death-like figure right behind the gate that stands there and waits for you. Some nice monuments in there too. Skeletons hanging from trees and such. Bats. There's even a, a, a coffin, a black coffin, which is creepy, and a skeleton sort of kneeling in front of the coffin, and the skeleton looks like it's burned, like a corpse. So there's some nice effective stuff in there. Overall, I have to say, a pretty solid effort, as Jim said. I'm going to give it three and a half. Oh, I think it's great. I really enjoyed it. They, they had a really great use, effective use of space. They had a lot of different things. And one thing in particular, they had this old, it looked like a coffin, like from the like turn of the century or 1800s. It was just dug out of the ground. It looked really cool. It turns out it was a prop from a play, but, but really, really looked authentic. And, and it was like old kind of coffin. Really well. Uh, I really like that. And then they had, I know Jim mentioned about the exorcist was hanging on the awning on the roof and very, when you got up to the face, very detailed. Um, they had great, you know, like atmospheric music, which was really a plus. Great lighting, really good lighting. And um, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm glad we got out there and were able to see it this year. And I advise anybody in the area to, you know, try to make a trip, check it out. I give this one four and a half stars for a, a long yard display. I really liked it. It was good.